This Corcon training video will explore three primary ways that you can add a new estimate to Corcon. To begin, we'll go up to the Leads module and select a project. Under the Module Landing Pages and under Estimating Department, we'll select Estimates and RFP Packages. Currently, there are no estimates in this lead, so we'll go to Actions and we're going to add estimate. The first method of adding a new estimate is manually. We're just filling in some basic information. We can optionally import the prospect or customer at this point and click Save and Next. We're going to add a new estimate from scratch and click Finish. Then we can optionally edit the estimate property details. I'm going to go ahead and click the Edit button. At a minimum, I want to add my auto populate estimate cost codes and we're also going to enable locations. Again, you have another opportunity to import the prospect or customer and some additional optional information at the bottom. Then we'll click Save and Close. Next step is to view estimate and the first step is to add estimate cost codes and items. We'll do one of each. Let's add an estimate cost code. This is a means of grouping and subtotaling more detailed items. So let's just import from a master cost code list and click import. We could do multiples at one time or let's do another one this way. We'll cover the different options of adding estimate cost codes and items in more detail in subsequent videos. Next, you may want to show the internal groupings. Right now, there are no items. If we uncheck the show internal grouping, we can also add items directly through the estimate cost code. So let's just click the plus sign, which is an add item feature. And click add and close. Now we see the internal grouping from the master cost code list. We see the estimate cost code and our first estimate item. At this point, we're entering it at cost only. We'll add the global markups later. Another way to add a new estimate, go back to estimating, is to add by importing from a Microsoft Excel import template. There's a variety of templates already prepared as examples. If you go to the help articles, go to getting started and under Corcon import options and down to estimates, you'll see a variety of examples or samples. The column headings, which are also the database fields that are available for import are shown near the bottom. The one that I'm using in this example is very similar to the Construction Industry Standard Code CSI 2016 one tier, although the one I'm using has two tiers, divisions and majors. Back to Corcom V8. I've already created the import template in Excel format. You can see the internal groupings, division and major. You see the estimate cost codes, column E and F. The cost code quantity and cost code unit of measure for most of you will be one and lump sum. These are not the takeoff quantities. The sequential order number is in column I in this case. The code is a line item code or item number that ties to your estimating cost database. These are optional. The next is the item description. This is the takeoff line item, the unit of measure, and this is the takeoff quantity. There's also an option to add allowances or tag line items to be allowances. And then costs are broken down with conversion factors, units of measures, and cost rates. You can also opt to include a sell rate by cost resource as well. They're shown here in green. Once everything's ready, click File, Save, and Close. Then we go to Actions, and we're going to Add Estimate. Again, we can add the prospect or customer optionally at this point. Click Save and Next. We're going to import from Microsoft Excel. 
and choose file. Click open. You can see all 40 lines of information have been imported. There are no lines missing information and click finish. As always, we go to the estimate property details and click edit. Select our master cost code list as our estimate cost codes and optionally enable locations. Then click save and close and click view estimate. That method imported the estimate cost codes. If we select the show internal groupings, we can see estimate cost codes as well as the master cost codes or groupings. If we go to items, we can see the estimate cost codes are showing and the items under each, they're grouped and they're also subtotaled. The third way to add a new estimate is by copying from another estimate. Let's go back to estimating. We'll go to actions and add estimate. Again, optionally import a prospect or customer. Click save and next. And this time we're going to copy from another estimate. Copying from another estimate means that we can import from a different lead or different project or the same lead or project that we're working in currently. We're going to select an estimate from a different project. We're currently working in lead eight. We're going to copy an estimate from lead four. We have the option to include the items, the quantities, markups, RFP packages, copy vendors, as well as their results from their RFPs, if any, and click finish. Next, click edit on the properties details page. We'll add the default cost code. This one also has locations enabled and we'll click save and close. Then we'll click view estimate. This method of adding an estimate comes in very handy if you do very similar or repetitive type work. It also comes in handy if you want to create master templates of your estimates, import from a lead created specifically for that purpose. You can see the estimate cost codes came in from the other estimate. And if there were any, the bid management. If you'd like to know more about the information that we explored in this training video, we encourage you to go to the help articles, to leads and projects, to estimates, and there are multiple help articles on how to create new estimates in CoreCon.